Welcome back, we're the Barber Junkies. He's Dan, I'm Sean. Tonight, Dan, oh, got the top of the lens. Why? Redwood Empire, Bottled and Bond, Limited Release. There she is, dude! Hey, bud. Awesome. Doesn't matter. Intro. Oh! Oh! Hattie! So, we got a little limited from uh, Redwood Empire. This is distilled and bottled by them. <laughs> it's a five year four grain, which Dan will read off the uh, the percentages. I think it's- Bottled and bond. Something, 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 and something. Bottling, summer 2021. 69% corn. Distilling, season, spring 2016. I don't need all this. Lot size, 26 bourbon barrels. You think, we think it's BBLs. Batch number one. Mash bill, 69 corn, Ooh. 22 rye, five malted barley, four wheat, 100 proof, obviously being bottled and bond. There goes with that. Beautiful label. Yeah, it's about close. So All right. these are these are whiskeys that I wanted in my heart so bad because I love Redwood Empire so much. Yes, he does. And our buddy Colton, Knew where some of these were. Colton Davis. Found them and got them up here for us. So thank you Hand for delivered. helping us get these up here, buddy. Because I haven't seen them or heard of them in the state at all at this no. point. No. So, and that it's going to be a limited release anyways. Yeah. We, we were guessing five to 6,000 Yeah, about 5,000 bottles-ish. Give or take. That's our math. Don't take that as... Uh, no, no, no. That, my calculator did my math. We're good. Yeah. Calculator. We average. That's bourbon yucky math. So give or take five to 6,000. Grizzly B straight bourbon whiskey. Distilled... In Sonoma County. Yeah. So this is all their distillate. This says, the mountains are calling and I must go. Oh, it's beautiful. It's four grain. Got to remember the old four grain. Yeah. But it's only 4% wheat. So it's very low wheat. It, I'm going to guess Ooh. that just adds a little bit of softness in there. This is raspberry pie, dude. Caramel drizzle. Whoa. That's like out there compared to but like, you I took think a, what I expected. You took a, a like an old library book yeah. and just kind of closed a it over bit. and a little bit of dust fell on your Tiny raspberry bit. pie. Other Tiny than that, bit. nailed it. Yeah, there's that twinge of just a dusty. Little, just a little, it's like a little funk, Connor. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Down low, I get a little chocolate. I get chocolate covered strawberries for okay. me. Like a fresh, ripe. You bit in to the chocolate covered strawberry and you got the juiciness of the strawberry through it. I'm a really big fan of the nose. I'm afraid to drink it. That's got to be the wheat that comes through like that. Oh, I like that. That has to be the dude. Wheat. That's like a like super citrus. Like what it, the hell? it tastes like grapefruit. Yep. Holy shit! It literally that's exactly what it is. Oh, that's wild. I Damn like it. that a lot. You're mad because it's the right note, isn't no, it? No, I'm not mad. Yeah. I hate grapefruit. What? I hate grapefruit. Oh, you're a hater. And that's why I don't love that. I. Well, I just got a new bottle because I love that. I love grapefruit. It's literal grapefruit. Yeah, in the best way. I mean, it like actual. It's not even like flavored. It's not candied. It's grapefruit. I don't get I, even coming back to it. I don't get any of that on the nose. It just what the, the citrus hell? note is not there. It's all red fruit nose. The red fruit is up front on the palate, like on the front of your tongue. Mm -hmm. The yep. finish is all grapefruit, the red, little rind. Red fruit and chocolate come in. Yeah, I mean, with, with the, the rind, yeah. like the muskmelon rind bit, we talked yeah. about before. That feels hotter than like, proof. I like the proof though. That I like that part. Hot. It lingers forever. I would guess like probably close to 110. Super long finish. Mm -hmm. Like legitimately long I think finish. the the sit, like the, the grapefruit note goes away, or like the, the note, excuse me. Um, and then it just kind of rolls into like a, just a citrus finish. Man, I like it's indescript citrus. I wouldn't say grapefruit in the finish. Good mouthfeel. This is really good. Great linger on the finish. Mm -hmm. uh, tons of flavor. Like not flat. It's not flat mm. anywhere. It literally is flavorful the whole way through. I'm so on board with that. I, I the wheat, love that. The wheat has to provide that grapefruit. I don't know what. Like, I don't. I think if you had all these these separately, because yeah. obviously this is blended. If you had these separately. Unless this is one, maybe it's not blended mash bills. Maybe it's well, that's one mash bill. Oh, one, yeah. You think it's like two different mash bills blended together? Yeah. I don't know. To make it a four gram. Yeah. Maybe it's just a four gram mash bill. I don't know. I really enjoy this. I, what in the world have we had that's like this? We've had one thing that's like this, and I don't know what it is. Drive me nuts. Uh, I know because I've said grapefruit before, and you've agreed. Okay. What it is? No oh, idea. Okay. But guess what? I get like a brownie. 
bad around the nose, like the more I sit in it. <gasps> Double limited release. You know, let me get this one for you. No, no, there's a pull tab on it. There's a pull tab. Oh, okay. That's just on there now. Yeah, you're an idiot. No, that's fine. Because there's a pull tab right here nah, that would have taken that off. I'll get it off eventually. It's fine. Anyways, so we have the, the second bottle bond limited from Redwood. This is the rye, though. The Rocket Top. Straight rye whiskey. Bottled and bond. And it says, in the eternal youth of nature, you may renew your own. It is a three grain rye. It is that. <laughs> but it is weeded. Yes. Which I don't know I've had before. That So that part I don't know. Maybe we've had like a weird like... One off. <laughs> not not that we were that. aware of. Yeah. This almost sounds like something Rabbit Hole would do with a mash bill. Yeah. Or like maybe Chattanooga. Like somebody that somebody like got wild with plays it. with mash bills a yeah. lot. It seems like something like that. 87% rye, 7% yeah. malted barley, 6% yep. wheat. This is going to be This smells incredible. This is my jam on the nose. Citrus. Lots of citrus. Tiny bit of like a spearmint. Really sweet though. What is like that? so sweet. Five year rise. Uh, listen, a five year rise, a nice age on a rye. Like for real. My brain is searching for a note right now that I can't find on this. Eucalyptus? Like uh, the lotion nose, you know? It's nice and soft. It coats. What's okay, up? I know what you mean, yeah. but the problem is, is when you say lotion, it Can like I... lotion smells so artificial uh, and like not bad, but it doesn't smell no, no. real. This is a texture of a smell. I'm not explaining Sean for Sean. I wouldn't either. They know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this um, smells amazing. It's super sweet. It's it, very sweet. What is it? It's 87% uh, rye. I wouldn't guess that. Chocolate oatmeal. That's weird. Yeah. Okay. I don't. That doesn't really sound appealing to me. But that's what it is. <laughs> it's not. Do you not get any oat like? <sighs> still like, come on. I don't. Chocolate. You get nothing. It smells amazing to me. It's nice okay. and sweet. It reminds me. The sweetness reminds me almost of a Michter's rye, but without at like the proof smells low. There's just a tiny bit of that dilliness in the background. Just a smidgy little. I completely disagree on that. Well, you're completely wrong on that. I don't get any dill. I do get like a clove. That's really good. I haven't even tasted it yet. That's I fantastic. I get no vinegar, that's for damn sure. And definitely no pickle. That is really good. I like that more. See, I like that less. That feels a little more empty. It does. Like it, the it's bourbon, not as punchy flavor-wise, I agree. The bourbon had a lot going on. Yeah. Uh, start I agree. to finish, there's a huge evolution of flavor. I like the flavor profile more. Okay. Just like, I, it's just a great, I don't think this, I think this is good if I just don't like grapefruit. Like I'm, this isn't, this is really well done. Like incredibly yeah. well done. It's balanced really well. There's tons of flavor. This punt the hell out of your mouth flavor. Yes. The proof is great. The finish is great. The, the mouth feels good. Like I think this is so incredibly well done, especially cause it's their own distillate. I just don't like grapefruit. Like that's, if I like grapefruits, dude, that's a, a 7,000 A pluses. You know what I mean? Like for real, like, cause they made it. That's so cool. But I think this is, a little chocolatey, a little clovey, a little pretty it's, sweet. It's like a citrus sweetness up front. I like, um, I would say oranges. Other than that, like, it's one of those ones that I don't think is crazy complex. I, but I think it's you. well done though. Sure. Um, you have a complete thing going from start to finish. Mm -hmm. Nothing feels super spiky or off. Right. It works. It doesn't drink like super special or anything though. This is wild because I think this is one of their better products. Like this, these two. Yes. Well, they should be. They're the yeah. most expensive things they've yeah. done. All right. We can grade them. Grade them. So they're 80 mm -hmm. and they're limited. It, this one's hard for me because it. I think it's so well done. This is my mm -hmm. problem. Mm -hmm. It's not often that I'm like, that's not good. Yeah. And it's, and I say it's well done. Yep. Usually I'm like, it's not good because these things are wrong. I think that is a uh, A. Flat A for me because I, I really like I, what's there. I think that it's an I'm gonna I'm gonna say A minus and it's purely based on my profile. I think really? I think it's incredibly well. I still give it an A. Yeah. Like I still think it's really A good. minus though. If you like grapefruit, it's an A plus. That's what I'm gonna say. Grape for the rye. A. B plus. Um, it is a little bit less punchy on the flavors for yeah. sure. The, I feel like the proof comes across so well on both of these that. This yeah. drink's hotter, this well, drink's a little lighter, yeah. Yeah. but I feel like they both hang out really well. Yep. Um, there's nothing spiky in it at all in the rye. I almost got it. It's fantastic. I almost got it. Got it. Dude, that thing was really on there. 
I think the rye is like a rye. It tastes like a rye. I think it's kind of weird that it has wheat it's, in it. It's a very sweet rye. It is, but it- Say that. So Michter's is, I think, a little sweeter, right? Just go back to the tasting notes. Like we're not ending the video. You do you. <laughs> this is your video. You can just yeah, this is all cut. I don't know works. if you know that. We're the Bourbon Junkies. Like, like comment, subscribe. Uh, Proofs in the pour. Thank Thanks you. For getting these up here, buddy. I appreciate it. Yeah.